Well, I think you have to start by thinking about the whole life cycle that most enterprises are operating. So I'm talking about going from the kind of assessment of IT risks through the way you do policy and controls, the operations you run over the infrastructure, the monitoring, the assurance, back to whether you actually control those risks. And I think the challenge there is that things like consumerization and cloud mean that um, companies have to get a lot more explicit about what they want from their information security. So a lot of the focus we're putting on is on decision making and, and that interface between the security experts who understand how to use technology to mitigate risks and the business people. And so we're bring, drawing a lot on um, human factors, psychology, economists, mathematics, as well as the security expertise to try and fold into that decision making process. Well, I think one of the clear changes that's already occurring quite a lot is, is the way virtualization is changing the IT fabric, both in the data center and on client devices. And so I think from a, there's a lot of knowledge already out there for how you might build more secure devices, servers, clients, and how virtualization can actually help you build more secure products with different ways of separating concerns, um, enforcing policy, giving you provenance on the information and, and, and so on. So I think, so there's a lot we can do just to engineer good products, but there's also a lot of research we need to do in the short and medium term to understand what kind of things we want to do on those products, what kind of, of life cycles of incident management we want to be able to enable because of the things we, want, we can do with those more secure devices. So another change, I guess I expect, and, um, is the way everyone's starting to pay much more attention to situational awareness. And, and this is obvious from the, um, the, the way governments are beginning to pay attention more to to, to this and the way industries need to change, exchange information about threats. Everyone's concerned about how to be situationally aware. Um, for large organizations, of course, the, the metaphor of being situationally aware in a physical environment translates very quickly to dealing with loads and loads of security information and knowing how to act. So I think for, in the short to medium term, from a research perspective, we're also paying a lot of attention to how you collect and correlate from very different sources and how you actually give actionable information to the kind of stakeholders that, that will be acting.